Hey everybody, this is Andrew Knickknack Twin here. I can't wait to show you. Oh, and Storm's here. Say hi, Storm. <laughs> she just yawned. I can't wait to show you what I got the past two weeks thrifting. And I just got back literally from an estate sale in South Austin. And I just picked up a lot of good things this the past two weeks, so stick around. She's eating, so maybe she won't be super loud. All right, where do I start? About two, well, a week and a half ago, I went to Kyle Library Thrift Store. My favorite local thrift store. You wanna sit here, Storm? Come here. I have a few new subscribers, so thank you for subscribing. I'm so excited, I'm almost at 100. This is my cat, Storm. Very vocal, very adorable. Sometimes annoying when I'm trying to film. All right, I don't know if you know this, but I enjoy food advertising and restaurant advertising. I couldn't believe I found this. It was in the pictures and it is scuffed many places and I need to, you know, it's not gonna be easily hung up, but I do wanna hang this up somewhere. But it is from a Hunt Brothers pizza. I looked it up, I did Google Lens. It was only five bucks. I love it. And um, my friend Bill yesterday told me that Hunt Brothers Pizza is actually a gas station pizza chain. So I didn't know that. But now I want to try it. But anyways, that was super cool. Speaking of food advertising, I did buy this on eBay for about $15. But this seller always sells them with a little Funko Pop protector. And I just love White Castle. In fact, I've been... I just wish they had them in Texas. I've been buying the frozen ones, and they're really good. Yeah. But I just love it. By the way, the ones I buy are jalapeno cheese, in case anyone's wondering. But I got my first... Oh, Storm, don't eat that. No. No. <laughs> Sorry for the camera. All right. Got to keep your eye on these fur babies. Am I right? Smeeze, pl smeeze, please smash the like button. Anyways, what, where, where was I going? Oh, that seller gave me a 10% off coupon and I might save it because I might buy from him. I think I've bought twice from them, maybe. So anyways, one day I stopped by Kyle Goodwill and this is the only thing I found. It is super cool. I've seen people do this stuff before, many times, make things out of soda cans. But this one is really well done, and it's for Star Wars, and I love Star Wars. It's only $2. I thought it was cool. And I almost didn't pick it up, but why wouldn't I? Um, there's a messy glue job there. But I'm going to totally keep this. Because, again, it is advertising. But it's just really cool folk art. And someone took some time on that. Yeah. All right. Now... This is something I picked up on eBay. Yes, I'll get to thrift stuff in a minute. Well, I kind of already have, but Tiki Cat was a bar. And yeah, I don't remember where it's from, but uh, anyways, I have always loved this mug and they went out of business during COVID. And I believe this is first edition, the first edition mug, cause it came out, I think they opened in 2017. And a lot of these mugs on eBay, uh, people are listing the 2019 version. Well, when they went out of business, of course, the mug sold a couple times for $165. And, uh, you know, I haven't, you know, I don't want it for that much. But I actually want it at an auction for $53, which is my favorite number. And, yeah, it was like $60, $65 total or so, $68. So I just love it, and I wish I could have gone but maybe they'll open again. I don't know. I don't know their story, but I just think it's a cool mug because I love Tiki and Cat. All right, go night, night, Storm. Oh my goodness. All right, let's continue. All right, I've been eyeing these at HEB, my local grocer, grocer. And of course, this is advertising for DQ, Dairy Queen. And I love blind boxes. You can check out on my channel. I've opened some blind boxes, but these are little blizzard girls. Aren't they cute? Can't wait to see which ones I got. 
These were originally $10 each, and I saw them on sale for five, and I, I wished I would have grabbed them, but I, I guess that day I decided not to, and then the next week they went back up to 10. Well, this week they were $3 each, <laughs> so I got three for the price of one. And since I had the last three, I just grabbed the stand and I asked them, could I have the stand? And they said, yes. So, oh my gosh, isn't that cool? So yeah, $9 for all of that. And then um, I had a $3 off 10 coupon. So I had to spend another dollar. So this was $4, real littles. I'll open that, I'll open these up in a video coming up. I think that will be fun. Hopefully y'all can hear me well. There's been some microphone issues on my phone. Whether it's human error or, yeah. Oh, at Kyle Library Thrift, they have these in the free bin. And I don't like super, super old books. You know, they smell. I mean, I do like old books. I do well in books. But this is dated 1894. And this other one is from the 1800s. I don't have very many books from the 1800s at all. I have a very many old books and magazines. So I thought I'd look those up. Maybe even list them. Who knows? Someone might want them. Because, yeah. Anyways. I haven't decided if I'm gonna give these to Pete's treasures, the puppies, but Chingu is, I think it's a baby brand. I don't think this is for animals, but Pete, Henry, and, uh, oh my goodness, what's my other nephew? Pete, Henry, and Benjamin, they love chewing on crocheted stuff. So these were a dollar each at Kyle Library. And I might give them to them, but I almost kind of want to keep them. They're so cute. All right, let's continue. Oh, the last things I got at Kyle Library Thrift. Now, this is going to be awesome. Now, they always have VHS four for a dollar. Well, movies were half off, so I got four for 50 cents. I wish I would have known that VHS would take off because if you don't know, VHS are hot that are sealed. In fact, my friend that I went to a party with yesterday that sells on eBay... He just, he listed, he didn't even know VHS were hot, sealed VHS. He listed an Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. And it's at auction. It's going to end. It's over $5,000. I can't believe it. And I'm like, I think I picked up an Indiana Jones to resell. And I came home and I do have one. Now, this one sold for $300. I got it for like 10 cents. Maybe like 13 cents. But anyways... I might put 500 Now, the thing is, they're, they're just all over the place. They really are. But, yeah, this is going to turn into good money. And I picked these up. I haven't looked this one up. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. It's sealed. And it's not just shrink-wrapped. It's got that little... I'm looking for those seals. Oh, and I had to get an, this one because I've never seen it. And, actually, this one isn't going for too much. But, obviously... I think I can get at least 10 bucks for it, and I paid like 10 cents, so. Let's see if this does well. I'm gonna look at my other VHS, but yeah, like I said, I can find VHS for so cheap. And so I'm gonna constantly find these seal ones and list them and see what happens. Cause man, I, I wish I would've known they would've taken off. I would've been finding all these sealed, but you know, you never know with eBay. All right, let's get to, oh, I just wanna show you some more books I bought on eBay. This was $26. It's one of those thrift books that, you know, you buy it for, get 10% off. But I've stayed at the Manger Hotel before and it's haunted and it's in San Antonio. And I, I saw this at an antique mall and I'm like, oh, I can find it for cheaper. So I bought it for about four bucks. I have these shag books, but I needed to add something. This is the Pink Panther. It was only six bucks and it has the, the CD in it. But I don't know. I just had to spend 10 more dollars to get 10% off. I know it's ridiculous, but Aaron, let me know if you have these, because if not, Christmas. And I saw another Tiki person post that the, this book actually is really good, Cuban Cocktails, and I don't have any book about Cuban Cocktails. Was that a Tiki mug? Oh, that's Don the Beachcomber. Look at that. Maybe they have a tiki section. Oh, cool, for the zombie. So this was only like, oh yeah, it was a tiki mug. This was only like six something. So if y'all want a good cocktail book, well, I don't know if it's good, I'll be the judge, but I am obsessed with Titanic. Look out for my huge, probably two or three part video series 
where I'll walk you through basically the whole Titanic Museum in Vegas. But I can't get enough, and I had to buy this for like five bucks from that site, Building the Titanic. And, oh, I found this at one Goodwill two years, uh, two years, oh my gosh, two weeks ago. But it's Bluebell. I paid four bucks, and I love the advertising, and Bluebell is just a staple. And so, actually, if y'all want to buy this, it's like $4 on eBay from one of these cheap thrift bookstores. So, anyways, thanks for watching. I'm, 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 con I'm continuing on to my thrift haul. But I found some killer vinyl at one of those Austin Goodwills. And I normally don't stop at the vinyl every single time because it's always, most of the time, the same old, you know, Lawrence Welk and stuff like that. I can't believe I looked through these and I found amazing records. First of all, this is Metallica. You never see that in thrift stores. And it is them and the San Francisco Symphony. And not only, you know, I want to get into Metallica. I think they're good. I've only heard a few songs. But I texted Aaron. I thought this was a $100 record. But it sells for about 50 I think. There's another two-pack that's not like this. I don't know. I need to look it up but it's called s and m anyways for a dollar i'm gonna make good money with that one willie nelson stardust this goes for about 10 bucks but i want to listen to it this is jethro toll i love jethro toll i'm gonna keep this one and i don't have it and i didn't know it existed i don't have a lot of their stuff but anyways if i open it up it's kind of Cool. It's like a little pop-up. Let's see if I can get it open with one hand because I do want to show you. Give me a second. All right. It's just kind of cool. I've never seen that on a record album. Ooh, I need to get new at these sleeves. New sleeves. They're pretty cheap. Well, that was a dollar. I've never listened to Jesus Christ Superstar. So I thought, this is called Gatefold, by the way. For a dollar, I'm like, I'm going to listen to it. They also had a parody probably from the same person it was like richard nixon superstar or something but you never find beatles albums this is abbey road now they have they came out with this a million times i don't think this is worth more than 10 but i don't have it and yeah it's cool and i have a lot of baroque covers and i don't think i have the baroque beatles so and it was right by this beetle album so yeah really good vinyl so i looked through them because i wasn't finding much Actually, this is all I found at that Goodwill, so you never know. I might just, I found a, a brand new Nightmare Before Christmas before in vinyl section, so you never know. I know I said that a lot. Here's a couple, uh, There, here is, um, I got this yesterday. It's a dull banana. <laughs> you put one banana, I guess so it doesn't bruise, but I just thought it was cool for $2. A little pricey. This is kind of a fail. I thought it was a soundtrack yesterday, and... It's Cleopatra. Soundtracks do pretty well on eBay, but I thought it was an import with the Japanese. Unfortunately, it I did not see that it was VCD. So if you don't know what a VCD is, it's like video CD. So it's like the movie, but it's in four different discs. And I can't find one like this. I might list it anyways, but I kind of want to return it, but it didn't have a sticker. So $2.00. I'll list it. Maybe I'll get my money back. But who knows? Let me know if you think I can get more. All right, last but not least, I just went to an estate sale. It had amazing, like, I've never seen so many cool pictures of an estate sale. It had so much cool furniture, art, Asian, and Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. It was just so cool. I stood in line over an hour. But I only spent $14. Now, things were half off. I bought this. It was $3, so $1.50. It's like a decision maker slash tarot cards. Not really. I just thought it was interesting. I bought it for me. I'm about to start a new Dungeons & Dragons group. So I'm getting into it. It's just a fun social thing. But I've sold Dungeons & Dragons books. They are definitely a bolo. I keep finding them. This was $1.50. And it's just a catalog. 1993 of different books, I think. But this sold for 10 but I think people are listing it for 20 25 so I might list it for 20 25 I know I shouldn't stack things on records. I know. Don't, don't let me hear it. But yeah, I could get some money on that. Now, I never find Christopher Radko, and this box is kind of beat up. 
but this Santa was five dollars, but it was half off, so two fifty. Does have some glass damage, but anyways, I hear, I see people listing these for like fifty. I couldn't find the exact Santa because, but I need to do more research. But I think that's going to be a cool sale, and Christmas is coming up. Last but not least, excuse me, the camera is all over the place. Why am I defending myself? They had a huge box of Life magazines, and I really wanted to get just offer a price for the whole box because they were five dollars each. But I think there's one more day of the sale tomorrow, so I doubt they would do it. But they were two fifty each. I picked up three. I picked up this one because of advertisements. And I just loved this Senka advertisement. Isn't that funny? So for $2.50, I'll cut it out and frame it. Oh, I wanted to show you something else I found. I haven't looked through it all yet. But aren't these kind of funny? They're called Huggables. They're like, I don't know. You spell things with them. I just thought it was really funny. I don't know. Alphabetical enthusiasm, it says. So, two fifty for some stuff for me. And I bought two of these because Marilyn Monroe does really well. And these were not sealed, but, you know, they've been in this protector. And I want to say this one is sold for 20 And this one, maybe 10 I think I'm going to put them together. It's from 1981. Look at Joan Crawford. 1981 and 1982. And I want to look at all the advertising first and then... Lot them together. So I'm not going to make a whole bunch from that estate sale, but it was fun going in. So yeah, I found a lot of interesting things this time. Some things for me, some things to resell. That's what my thrift hauls are always about. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed watching with me. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below what was your favorite thing I found. And let me know if you have a YouTube channel, because of course I'm looking for more people to watch. And please subscribe and tell a friend. And I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.